direct response principle, copy is king. And this is true electronically as well, as a lot of people are learning, and most of the examples that were shown to you this morning demonstrate it's all about the copy. And by the way, you must never let the graphic people get a hold of it and make it pretty, because okay. they, they will ruin it. They're, they're not quite as dangerous as attorneys, but they're close. And you've got to keep an eagle eye on them all the time. They'll clean up the type. They'll straighten the paragraph ends. They'll justify the copy. Uh, they'll, they'll do the most amazing things aesthetically and graphically to ruin good copy. The only purpose of graphics is to make it more likely that the reader will read the copy. That's it. It's the only purpose. It doesn't have any other purpose. Right? And so you can't let it have any other purpose. It is what we're doing here visually going to make the copy read more. If yes, it wins. If no, it doesn't. Right? Very simple. Now, that's not how graphics people, and certainly it's not how web designers approach their art. By the way, that's another word like creativity. You hear them talking about art, run like hell. Okay? There's a place for art. You know, there's a real good art museum right here in town. There's a place for it, but not with what we're doing. Okay? It's all about the copy, which means you've got to learn probably to write copy. Most of you are not going to do biz have businesses big enough or be willing to write the checks necessary to have really good copywriters do all your copy. Maybe your main customer acquisition piece, yes, and maybe that would be smart, but not all of it you're going to have to be able to do that for yourself. I mean, really good copywriters in my compensation league are going to be hitting you for fifteen to fifty to $70,000 to write a sales letter plus royalties. Well, that's okay if you're only going to do one for your entire life, you know, or one a year, or you're going to go do $50 million a bit. But, you know, if you're going to do like one a week, uh, you're probably not going to be real happy writing those checks. So this is what you've got to get good at. And if you have a choice, by the way, between knowing how to do some of the technical stuff yourself or working on getting this right, work on this. It's where all the money is. Okay. Our kind of copy is salesmanship in print. It brings us back to the VAC guy. It's not advertising. And it's very important not to mimic advertising. The last thing you ever want to do is mimic anything you see big companies doing in advertising. There's a reason for that. Their agenda is different than yours is. Right? Their agenda is very different. They have, they have their stockholders to pacify. They have their board of directors to pacify. They have Wall Street to pacify. They have their bank to pacify. They have their vendors to pacify. They have some highfalutin association they belong to to pacify. They have their lawyers to pacify. They have the CEO's buddies at the country club to pacify. And after all that's satisfied, like number 212 on the agenda list is an ad that might make money. Right? And layered over that list is their ad agency's list of priorities, which start with winning awards and building portfolios so that they have something to show to get the next dumb client after they lose the one they got. Okay, and then like number eight on their list is create an ad that might bring in some money. All right. Well, your agenda, I think, probably number one on the list is make money. So you can't ever copy anything coming from an entirely different agenda than yours is. If anything, you look at it as what not to do. So you can't copy anything you see. You've got to ask yourself, what's their agenda? What's their priorities? What's driving their decision making? What's causing them to do what they do the way they do before I decide I'm going to copy it? So what we do is salesmanship in print for you, in print on the screen. Yannick made a very important point. Just because you see it on a screen. This thing's much closer to a sales letter than it is to television. Just as, in fact, is the infomercial closer to a sales letter than it is to real TV. Whatever now real TV is. Right? But it's closer to a sales letter brought to life. Right? 
So we're doing salesmanship in print, regardless of how the print is ultimately delivered. And that means we're doing sales. So get that you're doing selling through media. You're not doing advertising. The rules of advertising, the rules of selling are what apply here. A real good book, by the way, is Zig's uh, Secrets to Closing the Sale. Now, that book's written for salespeople. But see, that's what, like it or not, you are if you're going to make a lot of money in direct marketing. 